I want to show you how to take what we've learned about the power of air and apply it to a classic science experiment called the egg in the bottle. This is an old-fashioned milk bottle. Now, you don't have to use one of these. You could very easily find a, a bottle that has a similar opening. You're just trying to find a bottle where a shelled hard-boiled egg won't slip into the opening. That's going to be really important. All right, so the question is, how do you get the egg into the bottle and no fear just like slamming it down? We're going to use air pressure to help push it inside. Normally, putting an egg on a bottle like this the air pressure is not going to just push it inside, so we have to create a difference in pressure. So here is just one possible solution. If we were to heat the air in this bottle, those molecules that are close together now are going to move far away from each other and start to escape from the bottle. Then, after they escape from the bottle, if I could seal the bottle with the egg forming a one-way valve, we could allow the outside air pressure to push on the egg as the air here starts to cool. And as the air cools, the molecules come back together again, it means the pressure on the outside is greater then the pressure inside. Let's see if that hypothesis holds true. I've got my eggs there shelled. I put a little water on the eggs to kind of help out. I've got a piece of paper that we're going to light on fire. I've got my safety glasses and I've got the striker. Okay, so here we go. Strip of paper is on fire. This goes down into the bottle and that starts to burn. Now the egg goes on top like this. We're going to... Bam! I couldn't even finish it and it is inside. Your eyes were not playing tricks on you. Take a look again in slow-mo. You can see that now that fire went out. As soon as the fire went out now, those molecules started to come back together again. The outside pressure pushed on the egg and... <clears throat> that's the egg in the bottle. I know what you're asking. Could you get the egg out of the bottle? Yes, you can, but you can't crack the bottle. It's a great bottle and you don't want to break the egg. That's cheating. So let's just reverse engineer what we just did. If I could make the pressure on the inside of the bottle greater than the pressure on the outside of the bottle, well, I could shoot the egg out and probably into my mouth because that's the way I'm gonna create the pressure. So look at what we have here. I've positioned the egg so that there's a seal here on the bottom. I'm gonna push air in and hopefully the air can't come back out until the air pressure is great enough to, to pop the egg right back out. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Anything for DIY Sci. Oh, here it comes. Here it is. There it is. See, it's starting to come out. It's going to pop out and bam! And the egg's out of the bottle. But, but we have a rogue egg somewhere, and that's okay because it's my job to put as many eggs in the bottle as possible. Pam, egg in the bottle, egg out of the bottle. It's all because of the power of air 